Hello, hello, and welcome to another edition of What the Fark with me, Lord Farquad. It's great to have you back as always. So, scopely progression path. We've been working out, and you can see from the other content creators recently that 38, 39, 40, 41 ops level is the scopely curve at the moment for your standard low spender free to play the other content creators have been putting some videos out recently with regards to some of the stuff to prep with and to be very analytical and it's very well planned unfortunately 95 percent of the community are not really planners we think about it but we don't we just go which way we want to however we are feeling so today i am putting together a little guide and some advice around moving between 39 and 41 from a real player who's made the mistakes Hopefully we can get through this nice and quickly, but we'll see what happens. Okay, <clears throat> so currently at the moment, I say I'm ops 41. I, I've only got a jelly. I have an enterprise, so and, and, and they are my only big ships. I have a Saladin, and that is it. My miners are, uh, are not strong because I've been in TC and have not had to worry about getting resources, but that's going to change now um, and I have a very uh, and my disco is long distance but just want to kind of start really from from the top and we'll, we'll work our way through and we'll talk about some of the things that I did some of the mistakes I made as well um, so part one of advice and I would always say is if you are planning on going to 40 or 39 and 40 and 41 is to ensure that you are triple locked simple as that you're going to be wanting to move around the territories each faction territory uh, as much as you want especially when you're going up into um, into g4 dark space to to go and mine and you don't want to have to worry about double miners and just the, the, the pain, especially if you do not have the ships to get there and to hold you, and they're expensive to repair. So my recommendation is if you're going to 39, and you're uh, to ensure that you are triple locked. For me, I went down the Fed route from, well, I went down the Klingon route to start with, but then flipped to, to Fed around about 3 million points, I think it was, um, when they changed the, the points allocations. I uh, remember those from back in the day uh, when you used to get 1,000 points and all of a sudden overnight it went to 100,000 points. Um, so I'm say, I'm going with Fed. My plan is to go Fed, max out Fed, and then flip to Romlin, uh, to uh, and, then, and then move on to that. So yeah, I'm working away quite well. But what this is doing is, for those that don't know, it gives me the opportunity to say, to start building up. And if we look at my ROM, for instance, because I hunt Klingons every day. My ROM is good up here, which means that later on down the line, when I'm thinking about getting whoop, one of these bad boys, I'm going to have lots of Tolkien's. There you go. So that's advice number one. Advice number two. So, refinery. Currently at this moment in time, I'm running a bit low on G4. You can tell I'm fed because of the amount here. But when I went to 41, uh, I was roughly about 3 million and 5 million, and this was about 25 million. But the thing is, when you go from 39 to 40, your refinery will only bring common in. And you think, do I want to refine it or not? The problem is, refining common, it's, it's a double-edged sword. I wish I'd done some more, just because the lack 
conversion of 10 to 1 is not great. So I wish I'd done a little bit more on that, but it's at 41, which the uncommons come available. So think about what you're doing. You've got access to low dark space uh, at 38. Get mining. Yes, 3G materials are needed, but <clears throat> from that 40, 41, 42, you are going to need a lot. <clears throat> So I recommend making sure that you do that. If you are a 38 to 39 and you're getting your fifth dock, remember, most people don't know this, you're gonna need between 2,000 and 3,000 uncommon two star crystal to be able to build that dock. Ah, yeah, it's a sticking point for many. So my recommendation is get a load of that in. If you're stuck, scratch some invoice. They will give you a little bit more. Officer wise, officers are officers. My recommendation is to max your officers that you use the most and use things wisely. Obviously, um, everyone is different. So that's the top area up here. So let's move on to some of the dailies that you're gonna be getting. So let's have a look at these. So building stuff's fine, Alliance is fine. So look at these hostile hunters. So this is the daily hostile hunter for 41. So at 40, if I remember correctly, I think it was, either the same or just less. So you need to make sure that you have the ships that can take these out, that have the warp capabilities. Remember, you can't always rely on Ty Core, Ty Gorka, to to get those done. You're going to need to make sure you explore deep space, a uh, dark space at 38 to open up those systems to find out where your ships are obviously the independents are are less um and then this is the sticker this is the one that i hate i just i hate this one i don't have big miners and the problem is when i'm outside the territory space i'm mining at i don't know 15 or 16 thousand per hour in TC space, I'm mining at 25 to 30,000 an hour. So it shows the difference of the buff that you get from the territories. But this here is a pain. I hate, I hate mining um, and I have to do that. So I normally what I do is I try to do my daily for, um, for Fed at about 87-ish. 87 ish, where is it? 87,500. And then top up the rest really with, um, uh, with, with crystal or, or, or depending on, um, on what's going up there. The problem is for most people, all the way up here, let's just move up here. The problem, I say, the problem is if you are one of these individuals who do not have access to the 4G mines, currently I'm on sabbatical from my, uh, from my alliance, so uh, I do not have access to any, any mines. You guys are going to, so say you want fed, you are going to have to get up. Uh, all the way up to here. Let's move to that, there we go. So you've got here, here. So these are warp 65 from that. And then you've got your big ones up here, which is warp 75. Um, 
these are your 100,000 4G node. And as you can see, how slowly, 16,000 an hour. And I've had to double load my ship because it's small. I've had to use double load with two protected cargoes. And that only gets me to 86,000. So I need to do 87,500 per day. I get a max protected cargo on my Antares of 86. So I run a risk of not hitting my dailies potentially by about 1,500. So when you're moving into the, into the G4 economy, my recommendation is work on those miners. But the other thing that I really, really, really should kind of say is, look, the USS Discovery is a amazing ship. <clears throat> Early on levels, you don't really see the difference. Um, it's got short warp range, it's expensive, but with the research that you will do, we'll go into the research, it will start opening up. The further you go up, the, the, the further the reach of it. So now my disco can get to 75. And if I stick on and we, dub, we double Scott up, we go double Scotty, <clears throat> we're now looking at a warp range of 87. So you can really, really, really start to uh, start to kind of explore and you're going to need this. I use my disco every day because I can't get my miners up here. Yeah, not I can't even get my miners up into the highly contested warp, uh, what is it? Warp 56 systems. So my disco is key. Yes, I think I'm waiting for the next uh, event store so that I can get some more mushrooms, but we'll see what happens from there. So ships wise, make sure that one disco or go down the miners route. For me, I'm going to put a little bit more into my miners so that I can get the, my protected cargo up. But then I can also do that in research. Disco is key. Get it high. Keep working on it. Get those efficiencies in place because you want to bring the price down of it because it's not cheap. The other hand, depending on which way you're going, you need to ensure that you're able to hit Federation, Romulan, Klingon, 41s, 42s, 43s, 44s. And you need to make sure that your ships can get down this area and up to here. Because I have to get up there to do my dailies every day. And it's key because those dailies are giving you the speed ups. Everything all adds up. So let's have a quick look at one of the big mistakes I, well, one of the mistakes I made. Look how underpowered. I'm a 41 and this is as far as I have got my enterprise. I got stuck and I have been stuck getting this gas for such a long time. It's a right pain. And the problem with this is I didn't do my researches for my efficiencies. And there are efficiencies all over the place. But you've got to really think about what you're doing. So for me, I kind of just dawdled along and got everything sorted. 
and I didn't do a lot of the efficiencies because I've spent oh, downloading the joys. So I didn't do a huge amount of efficiencies. Um, I, I'm, I don't actually want to show my my outlaw uh, tree because it's pretty embarrassing. But that's one thing I would say. Work on the efficiencies. Work on if you're going for rep. Work on the the weak points. Work on. I say station piercing i really don't care about that at all because nobody does anything anyway um the work on efficiencies 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 you've got some in station which we've got let's have a look where are we doing i'm looking now the work on those efficiencies the the, the, the pure dolifium the pure trit um and then i say work on these so i'm now working finally on some construction speed and stuff from there things get expensive i think the major one at the moment would say is galaxy um i have my efficiencies for galaxy look my nano awful awful but jumping max discovery max summoning done Walk range as far as I can get it. I know I can't get my this additional walk range and add <clears throat> even further. Was that another twenty five onto the walk range at forty three? So these are uh, uh, official, but these ones here, look, pure ore, pure gas, pure pure crystal. These are massive. The problem is, I'm now in. A section where I was going okay now I'm kind of stuck because I want to get like the pure crystal I want to get the pure more pure gas but then I'm here and I'm like right okay so I've got to look at the regeneration and then but then if we want to go for instance uh, for me pure gas okay so this is just kind of shows the hole that you can get into so pure gas I want to do that right okay so I need explore warp two Where's that? Let's explore a warp. I'm getting lost. I'm getting lost. Where is Explorer Warp? Where's Explorer Warp gone? Oh, there's Explorer. So I need that one. I need that one. So I now need Warp Technology 10. So to get Warp Technology 10, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Mine's only at four. So to get four, I need to have survey warp. Okay, right, so we need survey warp. So, ah, right, so I need survey repair costs. Right, to do that, I need survey security. Right, to do that, I need now crystal miner eight. All right, okay, so where are we going? Where are we going? Crystal miner eight. Okay, so do crystal miner, and then I need gas miner seven. Okay, so I'm well off that. To do that, I need dilithium miner four. To get that, and I now need dilithium hunter. Wow, so that's just showing by me not spending time at the beginning of this tree because I'm not a miner. I don't care about this. Maybe I should do because my mining speed's slow, but I don't care about it. I never really have. And what this has done now is the knock on effect is that it's now affecting my efficiencies further on down the line something to think about there and then we'll say territory research great loads of amazing stuff in there work your way through those and just keep on going these are i say these efficiencies here <clears throat> i need to start working on some more of these to start opening up but these will start bringing down the cost of things and everything adds up everything adds, adds up so things like the optimized ship upgrades when you're paying uh the likes of i don't know 400 million trit or 600 million trit for one module eight percent makes a huge difference 
with regards to the the, the cost effect, especially when it's um, uncommon uh, ship parts. Look, I'm going to pop into Outlaw. Everyone knows Outlaw, but just sort it out. Look, don't do what I did. I have completely and utterly neglected the whole of the Stellar thing. It's like building efficiency, research efficiencies, rogue hulls, rogue shields, all this stuff could really, 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 really help me. But I'm so far down a hole at the moment. How am I going to get myself out? I need to look at that. So again, get your Stella, get your scrapping. Um, even things like Apex Chop Shop. I'm now, we'll move on to scrapping, but even that is taking time. So research, efficiencies, efficiencies, efficiencies. Try and get everything up. Yes, it's a race. Yes, we want to get, but get a good stable base. Don't make the mistakes that I've done. So the other things that are going to come into play here. So here's 42. Okay, so if I want to go to 42, I'm going to need Shipyard 41, Deal Vault 41, Defense Platform D41. Okay, look at my Deal Vault. 35. And as we know with all of these, it's all dependent on the ones before. I was, again, another one of these ones who I was just hoping Scopely would put out something about changing the generators, changing the warehouses and getting those more efficient, but it hasn't happened. So I've had to bite the bullet and I'm finally working, but this is going to take time. So use this for instance, 2.8 billion still for a completely and utterly useless building useless building again it's just ugh, frustrates me but that is life so recommendation sort these out keep up to date with them don't speed through too fast because you'd be left in the hole that I am. I'm now playing catch up where I am spending, yes, I'm getting more past deal and more trit in, in my dailies and, and through my, um, my, my swarms, but I need it at other, other places and I don't want to be spending it on generators. So I'm stuck because I can't do anything. Can't do the refinery without certain things. And I haven't been too bad on, on the outside. Uh, yes, my defense platforms are not great, um, but I'm keeping some of those because I'm gonna keep them from an event. Good soon. But there you go. This is some of Dry Dock D. 2.9 billion, 4688 common, nearly 2,000 uncommon it's a lot and all those say going back again work on those efficiencies i really wish i'd done that um from there so that is my bits of advice on moving from 38 39 to 40 look at what you've got now i really 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 recommend it research research and if you've got some spare resources start scrapping those 26 level 26 ships if you're triple locked you're fine you ain't got to worry for me i normally have one on build one on scrap at the same time so when i'm scrapping one i'm building my next one so i've not long done my mayflower um and then i've got another Mayflower at the moment. Let's have a look. What have I got? So this is the type of thing that I've got when you're doing spend events. Look, I have a, a level two maxed Vortus. <laughs> never, never been used. Never done one attack. Not at all. Um, 
but key to things is the Mayflower. Uh, this, if you're, especially if you're going down the jelly route, it will give you everything that you need plus more. But I'm doing the way that I'm doing it. I'm doing two Mayflowers, one Lego, one D3. That is the order I want to do it. Two, one, and one. Because I'm doing, because <clears throat> I'm in, I'm going down the jelly route, so it's taking a lot of resources and ship parts there. But that's my recommendation. Two, one, and one. It's cheap as chips. It's little spend events here and there. Drop some stuff down, and you will be fine. So let me have a think. Is there anything else I think that we should have a bit of a chat about? Mm, probably not. Do you know what? Comment down below if there's anything else that you'd like to know and I can put it together. But recommendation to so my final Lord Farquhar's final thoughts. Efficiency, efficiency, efficiency. I'm going to leave that with you. As always, thanks very much. It's great to have you all. Keep well, keep safe, and I'll see you again on another What the Fuck Presents.